Hi guys, it's Mark here from Optimum Technology Transfer. Today we're going to have a look at uh, something perhaps a little bit more complex than we've seen so far in the various videos that I've posted on YouTube. Uh, for example, the if statements, the if formula that we've used, or the if function that we've used, the, the VLOOKUPs, for example, and the HLOOKUPs. If you haven't actually seen those videos of mine, do track them down. Do search Optimum Technology Transfer um, Excel videos. Okay, so yeah, something a little bit more complex than that. What we're going to do is we're going to combine two new functions together. We're going to combine the match function with the index function to produce a result that we require. Now, what I would like to know is, well, what have I got here? Let's have a look at our scenario. Let's have a look at this particular example. Yeah, we've got a maths results table. So these guys, these are very students here, took maths exams in the first semester, the second semester, and the third semester. So we've got data for each of these guys, all of these students, across three semesters in whatever year, not important. What we've also got here, in fact, as well, is an overall result. And I would like to find one of these numbers, effectively. So if someone says to me, for example, OK, how did student three do in the third semester? I'd have looked at this table. I'd look, got down through to student three here. And I'd have to go across and say, well, actually, student three did really quite well in the third semester, 85%. What about student 12 in the second semester? Well, there we go, for example. But that's a little bit uh, laborious. A little bit uh, inefficient to say the least. I'm going to use index with match nested inside it to produce a math result in that cell I9. First of all, however, talk about a few other things. I got a little bit of data validation here. Yeah, so this is a drop down list of all the students. This is a drop down list of the three semesters and the overall, for example, as well. That simple data validation. Click on the data tab, data validation, and there is the data validation dialog box. Not something I'm going to look at in any detail today. Do search for my data validation uh, video on YouTube once again to find out more detail about that. What I'm interested in is we'll start with the match function first of all. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to find where this student is in this list of students. So kind of like a, a, a rank position, as it were. So I'm going to use the match function to determine the position of student 6 in the list of students. So equals match, open brackets. The lookup value is going to be that individual student, comma. Now, what I've also done here is use range names. Now, if you want to paste a range name into a formula, you press your F3 function key on the keyboard. Again, I'm not going to go, guys, into how you create range names in Excel. In this video, do have a look. Search for uh, my other videos to find out, or indeed, of course, anybody else's videos on YouTube. I'll double-click Students. There we go. There's my list of students. So effectively, what I'm saying so far is find that student in that list of students and tell me where it is. Comma separator, I'm going to use an exact match. You may remember your trues and your falses, for example, when we discussed HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP previously, and then return or enter. Yeah. So what does the match function do? It simply returns the position of an item in a list of items. So please tell me where student 6 is in that list of all of the students. Student 6 is located at position number 2. Of course, there we can see clearly. What about the semester position? Just quickly once again, another equals match, open brackets. Look for that comma here. So you're looking for that word in those four words. Yeah, you're looking for that item in that list of items and apparently overall is four change drop down first semester of course is one yeah the first semester is the first item student select scroll up select nine yeah one and one of course there we go one one so that's how the match function works
How does the index function work? Well, equals index. Now the index function needs a table array or a range. I've got something there called maths results, as of course we can see from my formula. What I need to tell Excel is which particular row do you want to get the information from? You've got multiple rows in this range. Which row are you specifically interested in getting the information from? Well, I'm going to use this student position that I've previously created using the match function. Then a comma, and I'm going to use the semester position, which is what I've previously created uh, and returned using another match. So if you have a look at the display here, it's equals index open bracket. It's an array, it's a row number, and it's a column number. So look at it as a row and column intersection within that whole range, within that whole array. And it says 90%, which of course is that value here. Change the student. Let's say student 11. Student 11 is position number 5. Let's have a look. Student 11. Uh, we're still same semester, the first semester, 75%. But I want student 11 overall, please. 70%. Student 11 overall, 70%. Let's have a look at how I have actually done that. Again, I'll F2 on my formula here. So it's that whole maths result range or array. I'm interested in the row number, which is determined by my previous match in die 6, and my column number, which is previously determined by my semester position in I7. Now that's all well and good, but just imagine if these two values, the student position and the semester position didn't actually exist at all. What I'm going to do, bear with me for a moment guys, I'm going to create the math result formula without reference to these two cells. How do I do that? Well, this is where it does become quite a bit more complex. Using the index function, same table array, comma, but I don't have a row number now for my student position. So that's where I nest the match. So the match is going to look up that, comma. I'll F3 once again to pick up my students, double click, comma, an exact match, and close off my brackets. That's the row number. That match, for me, is returning the row number, a comma. What about the column number? Again, I don't have that semester position, so I'm going to have to use another match. Match that item, comma, F3 once again, picking up my named range previously created called semesters, double click, comma, going to make it an exact match, close off the bracket. That closes off the bracket for the match, a final close to close off the open bracket for the index and return or enter. 0 0.7. Why does it say 0 0.7? Well, of course, because that's not formatted as a percentage. Okay, fair enough. We all know exactly how to format. I could even, of course, here use the good old format painter. So I click on the cell that contains the format that I want, click on my little paintbrush, format painter, of course, and click on the result cell. There we go. That one that formula use these two. We're imagining now that, that, that they don't actually exist. Those two bits of data don't exist. So what have I done here? Let's have a look at this final one. Let me F2 on that. And there is a, to say the least, quite a bit more complex than anything that we've done so far. It's an index function. There it is. What does the index function do? It takes an array there it is, my maths result table or range name. The match function is acting as it were as my row number. Finding where that student is in my list of students. My second match is behaving again as it were as my column number this time. What it's saying is to match that semester 
against my list of semesters and in indeed of course I'm using that word overall as well here for this particular example. Let's try things, let's change, let's say for example somebody comes along and says right okay guys I really would like to see how well student 3 did for example in the second semester. Well that's how well student 3 did in the second semester. Let me F2 on that once again, just one more time, guys. So it's an index function with a couple of nested matches. 